Hi folks, Jason here. In this video, I'm going to be showing you a little work through of how I created this image. So you can see here, it's a kind of sort of fantasy sci-fi scene. We've got this kind of Titan looking figure sat on a throne and this kind of maybe part robot cyborg warrior with a wizard. And basically I was able to create this using a combination of Blender das 3d and dream studio and um i was quite happy with the results as it happened and uh, i've done this mainly just to kind of show you how you can kind of work in sort of partnership with ai like dream studio but also things like das 3d and get some really interesting results and, and most importantly quick this took me approximately around about five hours to do if i'd have had to do this from scratch it would have taken a lot longer to do so let's just go and have a look. So this is the final kind of image. Let me just bring up Blender. So this is the scene that I created in Blender. And you can see here, I've got the basic kind of, it's really kind of basic geometry. I created some sort of stairs and it's supposed to be like a sort of throne room. I put these kind of like spheres in there and we've got this kind of like character that I brought from Das 3D and some other characters as well they're supposed to be well I think they're originally I think the idea um, I had that they were going to sort of be warriors serving under the king that kind of thing and then it kind of changed but uh, this is the actual like model and then if we just go into the uh, viewport shading you see here I gave it some lighting and it's got its kind of textures on there things like that but it's mainly just very basic and um, just to kind of at least kind of give a, a sort of block out of an idea of what I was trying to kind of go for. Now I did play around with different angles. I chose something approximately kind of like this. I think it was the original, something like that. I've got all three kind of characters in there. And then I was able to render that out. So if I just go and fetch the render now. So this was the, um, the first render, so just straight up like that's the render that's the information um, I did do this in with dream studio in mind because it does this 512 by 512 you can kind of make it longer but I, I quite like the composition on this just being square and so I decided to kind of stick with that and then I took this image and then put it into dream studio and let me show you some of the uh, different iterations that uh, it came up with there's my original and if I just go back to this, you can see I kind of played around with some of the parameters in Blender with the plugin. Got all variety of different types of scenarios. Quite interesting. I was putting in prompts like King uh, or Ancient uh, Throne Room King um, uh, with Warriors you know, stood and um, something like that and I put a bunch of other kind of prompts in there but it was still pretty interesting I mean there's some bizarre kind of shapes going on here but in principle there's uh, there's something to kind of work with uh, here you know things like lighting this was like very good you can see here this is kind of what I use for the background but um, in terms of like you know the, the throne and the floor very interesting but not quite there it, it tried it tried to kind of read the image and came up with some sort of strange kind of iterations, but uh, but there's still some really interesting things that it came up with. They just generated itself. It it kept loosely the kind of right angle, but uh, it wasn't quite the angle that I was looking for. If you look at it in comparison with like you know what I put there, um, it's um, it's still pretty good. You know if you if this is kind of what you're aiming for, you know a particular kind of angle, it's very useful. But you can see here. You know, it missed out the kind of characters, but, you know, the lighting, the values, things like that. This is what I think it's really um, useful for. And if you've seen my previous video of playing around with AI in, in Blender, um, you'll see my kind of, you know, you'll see what my kind of thinking is on it, which is like, it's more of a tool than a kind of end result. It's it's a kind of halfway point that you can quite kind of take these things and kind of run with them. And, uh, yeah, so I was very happy with the results. I could have kind of um, put a bit more detail in with the environment. So it's kind of stuck to this kind of, you know, like a grey um, 
you know, kind of quite sort of monolithic kind of like slabs and things like that, which is fine. Uh, but um, I could have like added a bit more colour there and it probably would have come up with some different sort of variations. But the results were really interesting. This one in particular was like, I don't think for my scene that I was doing there, but this could be like an idea for something else, you know, that I can kind of work into. So hopefully you can kind of see the kind of value of some of this and like how you can incorporate it uh, into your workflow and just, you know, have some fun, get some ideas down, you know. And I think from a commercial point of view, you know, the turnaround this on this can be so quick that you could create some very highly detailed concept art in a relatively uh, short space of time. So I thought I'd just uh, show you this. And um, what I'm going to go to next is I'm going to go to the time lapse video where uh, I'm going to show you the entire workflow. I'm going to probably speed it up quite a lot because it's about five hours and I'm sure you don't want to sit through five hours. But um, hopefully, uh, you know, you'll find it informative and, um, you know, get some ideas from it.